This is a review of the Wellington Guide to the Bible. This is a 30th anniversary edition and it's by Dr. Harold L. Wellington. It's actually not a bad, it's a, it's a hardcover book as you can see. It's also, it's, it is Smith's own and it is humongous. It is Smith's own, you can see the signatures. This is 11 and a quarter by eight and a half and it is two inches thick. It is nice and thick. Now, it is a well-made book as well. It's a great resources book and it's done by Tyndall House. Um, at the beginning you've got your contents. And I'll just go slowly so you can see your contents and pause it if you want to. Now most people have study Bibles. Um, I, f I have found this one actually a little bit better than a study Bible because sometimes I've found things in the study Bible. I haven't found things in the study Bible but i found it in this. So I'll just go slowly for you for the content so that you know what's in it. So if you do look to buy one of these that you actually know what you're getting. Now, I like this part, why the child of God should study the word of God. It's actually quite interesting to read that. So if you do get one of these, it's, it is a good read. It tells you why you should study the word. We have some good photos and stuff in here as well. I mean, of course, it starts with Genesis, as you can imagine, the creation. Just get to the front for you. It has some really good maps in here and some really good photos as well. Some drawings actually. There's not actually photos, they're drawings. But they're actually quite good in it. So I'll show you a couple of those. It is quite a well made made resource book, so it will last for quite a while. You've got the tabernacle and here it is here as well. And it's telling you all about the clothing and everything and it even gives you the verse where you're going to find it in the Bible so you can actually check for yourself when you're reading these photos are really these these drawings are really good you've got the uh, the high priest and his garments I mean okay you'll find these in your study Bible some of your study Bibles too but I do find that the study Bibles are lacking a little bit as well and what they are lacking this actually picks up on it. So you got this awesome photo, an awesome drawing sorry. Ezekiel 34. I do have some other references here which I'll be showing they use those as well. I just want to show you some of the drawings in it. I mean it see there you got the sermons of Jesus. Another great photo. Great drawing. I keep saying photo for some unknown reason. Another one. I mean it's full of Full of great stuff, this. Yeah, it's another awesome drawing. There you go, I actually got it right for a change. here about the Antichrist. You got questions, answers about the prophecies. Now here you've got all the old all the people in the Old Testament. You've got a whole list, page number of course, they'll give you page number. 
and we go all the way through and there's quite a little quite a lot on each person it's not just a little snippet like you know a little snippet it's actually you got one two nearly three well you might as well say three columns just on Andrew um, on Aaron sorry and then we got Abel down the bottom here which goes over and it also tells you all their all their family all their all their statistics and as usual it gives you the it also gives you the references in the Bible as well where you can actually look them up to do a study so if you want to pick a study for a, a subject study for a you know a, a study for a um, a person who is in the Old Testament this will this is a great great resource I found it really good and you also got the New Testament one here all the names Here you got the topical summary of the Bible. So you got a topic. And it shows you the verses as well. It's a great book. And you've got the basic facts regarding Jesus' parables. And this is all on the parables. Every parable that's in the Bible you'll find it here on Jesus. And the secret of the seed gives you the verse. This one here will give you also the verse plus where else you will find it. Oh, I mean, I'd be lost without this, without this resource, this book. So, this is what they say it has in it. So you can pause that at any time and have a look and read down. A little bit about him, about the author, and here's the ISBN number if you're interested. I mean, most most Christian bookshops will sell this. You know, Amazon. You can have a look on um, eBay see if you can find a second-hand one. Maybe I got this brand new. No time yeah. I did a I did a study on the tribe of Dan and I couldn't find why he wasn't mentioned in Revelations but um, it explained it down here to me so so like I said I couldn't find it anywhere else and I actually found why he wasn't in it and it explained everything So yeah, well, it's quite a quite a nice, well-made book book as well. So it's not it, it will last you quite a long time. And it's well done. Like I said, it's sewn. It's a hardcover, so it's going to last a long time. And I've, like I said, as you can see, I've done a fair bit of work in it because most of my stuff has these tags all over it where I leave them for references. Because most times I end up going back to them. But uh, you also have the, the contributions and stuff at the back. And you also have this. It's a great resource. So I hope this was helpful if anyone is interested. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, it has some great photo, great, great drawings in it. And yeah, there's next to no ghosting because the paper is nice and thick. It's not like a Bible paper or anything, so it is a good, it is a good paper. These are pretty neat too. Okay. Actually, I find the beginning of it. 
do the gospel stages and each one of these mean means something which you go back to the index and it will explain all that sort of stuff to you go back here yeah it does explain it oh, the two trees I was just reading about the two trees in a, in another book that I've that I bought, that I got the other day. The good tree and the bad tree. The good fruit and the bad fruit. I'll do, a, when I finish that book too, I'll do a review on that. Huh. All right, well, thanks for watching and I hope this was some sort of help for you. Like I said, it is a great resource to have in your library. Thanks for watching.